Anyway, but let's get started in Pueblo, Colorado this morning, where torrential rains led to flash flooding on Saturday, and an SUV driver tried to make her way through, but she got stuck. And as the waters rose, the driver couldn't escape. NBC's John Larson picks up the story from there. What no one knew about 35-year-old Charlene D. Herrera as her SUV was slowly swept towards deeper water was that Charlene, just coming home from work, still in her Wendy's uniform, trapped inside, couldn't swim. Which explained why she called her brother on her cell phone instead of just saving herself like almost everyone here, horror-struck and watching, was hoping she'd do. In sickeningly slow motion, with all four car windows shut tighter than a drum, Charlene and her car slipped into water about 10 feet deep and sank. The first to reach her was a doctor, but try as he did, that stick he had was no match for the safety glass. I was pounding away and uh, she had her hands against the glass and she was terrified. And then Charlene was gone. Almost a full minute went by, but unbeknown to everyone was that Howard Absets, a 43-year-old unemployed store manager, the man in the middle, had somehow reached through Charlene's front window. For me to actually feel her grasp my arm was a real shock. And then the second time that she grasped my arm, uh, I knew right then that I could get her out. And then, up she came. Of course, no one knew Charlene couldn't swim, and there was a moment coming up here where she almost drowned the good doctor. But everyone eventually dragged Charlene to safety. But here's the odd part. When Charlene's car was towed from the water, all four windows were still closed. How they opened just enough to let her out and then closed again, no one knows. There was something there. I, don't, I can't explain it, but um, something happened for her to be able to be alive today for me able to pull her out um, something happened for that to happen something Charlene and Howard and everyone here is still wondering about for today John Larson NBC News Los Angeles